Hey, Leonardo here, or Leo Siron, if you prefer. So, I, I'm making this video to talk about my abandoning the gaming generation. Yeah, it sounded harsh, but actually, it, it was kind of the other way around, in the way that the numbers I was getting from the gaming generation were decreasing instead of increasing. I'm sorry, I, I like making videos for the page, but it's not working for me anymore. Instead, I, I will start posting more on a blog, links in the description, and the posts on that blog will regard my illustration making, my storytelling, and my video game making. Because that's my main focus, you know. Even though I love making video game videos, and I love making other kinds of videos as well. That was not really my start, starting drive. Let me explain. There is a little story that illustrates this. I graduated on Game Design College here in Brazil. In the best college we had. Now the, the course has been downgraded, but I was lucky enough to complete it when it was still good. And I remember that just after we made our group presentation of the game we presented in the last term, one of my most hard-working colleagues told me that he wanted to start a YouTube gaming channel. That was his plans for the next year. I didn't tell him with all the words, but I felt like that was betraying our true purpose. We studied making games, not talking about them. Nothing wrong with talking about them. I know many amazing channels that deliver incredible content regarding video games. And some of them are from people who study or study at game design and they make great, great in-depth analysis of video games. That's a great, that's amazing. That is their thing. That is not my thing, actually. I could, I could make in-depth analysis of game design, but that's not my drive. My drive is to create the games. And to be honest, I first started Leo Saron Games, my personal gaming channel, as a way to build up an audience to eventually promote the game I was making by myself, that was that wolf platforming game. You can see it on Leo Saron's game channel. Leo Saron Games <laughs> channel. Um, I was having fun making that game too. But programming is not my thing. You see, in making a game, there are several disciplines. There is the 2D art, which I can do. There is the game design itself, which I can do. The sound, which I sort of break a leg at it and the programming, which I really... I'm not good at it, okay? And there are other disciplines that aren't my focus. My main focus is on art, to the art, and the game design itself, with and level design too. I can do so, quite a few things in game design, but programming ain't one of them. So making that game was really a toll when it came to implementing the ideas. I never have a problem with coming up with ideas. I'm a cre creative person. Implementing them all the way through the problems and the bugs is the issue. Thus, I started making a new game with a friend of mine. And he is a programmer and a game designer. So we both keep on pitching ideas to each other. And we're on the planning stage of the game. And further, further on, he will be programming it, and I will be doing the animations and the visuals and everything. Thus, I am shifting projects right now. My main goal, my main professional goal, is to be able to work from home and make a steady, steady, is that the word? A, to make an income I can count on and that I can live off. So, here in Brazil, we're facing off an economical crisis. In my generation of friends, and even in my parents' generation, I know very few people who are thriving economically, even in this crisis. 
this is just one of the reasons I won't go after an office job because I would like stay 8 to 10 hours a day there to make pennies that's how <laughs> that's what I expect from doing that but thus I want to further explore the possibilities of making a living from the internet you know as many others are many others are we're, we're as a global communi community we're walking towards a, uh, an era where walking w w working from distance may become the norm for creative work or for many areas of knowledge. Of course, you cannot work for long distance if you are someone who builds houses, right? <laughs> there are some jobs that will always be presential. But as someone who tries, who wants to create things, I do believe that the internet can be my home, my office. My room is my office. Sometimes it's quite it feels bad to work in the same place you relax and I never feel I'm actually relaxing because when I'm on my room I look at my computer and I think all the things I should be doing oh but it's okay so from now on you can stay tuned to my blog where there I will post everything I do like my art sketches my illustrations I might start writing a sh write 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 a story and I will put short excerpts there that's my actual my plan for now to put excerpts of the story which people can read quickly in a day but there will be several updates frequently that you can read small chunks every day and I'll I will talk of my future projects now for now I will focus on looking for freelances as in video editor artist game designer I do a lot of things but I need freelances that I can rely on and I will look at making the, that game I'm making, I will focus more energy on that since I am leaving the game generation now and Leo Siren Games too I'm leaving Leo Siren Games as well and storytelling, game making, freelances art practice that's a lot <laughs> by itself but you know, I'm not saying that I will never make a gaming video anymore I might do it sporadically with uncertain frequency only when I'm in the mood because I like making the videos as I said I enjoy that I enjoy I have fun making video game videos and fun dubs of anime and a lot I have my other YouTube channel where I do th those stuff uh, that kind of thing sometimes in Portuguese sometimes in English and I will only do this as a hobby because the gaming generation was taking a lot of time from me Last week, I remember that I looked back from in the last eight days at a point on last week. In the last eight days, I had made five videos. Uh, okay, th those were not super complex videos, but those were videos that took time. I could have spent practicing art or doing all that all that other stuff I just mentioned. So I don't know. Being in the gaming generation was fun. I met a lot of cool guys and girls in the team of the gaming generation. Nice people. I hope I, I keep in touch with them. But for now, I'm really sorry to say that I'm bailing. So I made my point here. I will post the links for everything that I mentioned in this video in the descriptions. And I will probably upload it in my and the Gaming Generations YouTube, Facebook on Leo Sarum Games and maybe on my other YouTube channel that I just mentioned so expect other kinds of content from me and if you're interested follow me on those links this is Leo Sarum not anymore from the Gaming Generation signing out <laughs>